When I met Scott, who's paraplegic, I was just super shocked by how inspiring he is. <laughs> I was like, what can I do, what can I do? How can I figure out a way to help his goals, which was to inspire people to not be defined by their adversities. For him, not to be defined by your wheelchair. We came up with the idea of first paraplegic to climb Everest Base Camp, which would be a world record. Matt was the one that gave me that drive. I knew I could do it. I wouldn't have been able to do any of it without putting my trust in Matt. The climb up Mount Everest Base Camp was really intense. It was a combination of me holding Scott's legs and him walking on his hands, and then Scott on my back. We were actually extremely sick of altitude and a lack of oxygen. There was a few times where I'd be just like struggling and can't really keep going, but Matt would be there just saying, keep pushing, look how far you've come. I could always rely on him. It was really 10 days of immense pain and suffering for a really beautiful goal. Ninja Warrior is my next challenge. I really just want to show people that if you can work hard and believe in yourself and your goals, then you can achieve anything. What an amazing story. And I'm sure Scott is watching at home, wishing his mate the best of luck. Matt Laycock from Queensland. He carried his paraplegic mate up to base camp of Mount Everest. Now, if he can do that, I reckon he's got a chance on the Ninja Warrior course. And to have a chance on the Power Tower, Matt will need to improve on Zed Colback's time. Two minutes, 34 to beat. The bell rings and he is off. Certainly looks the part. 79 kilos and 179 centimetres tall and through the steps easily. Sizing up the butterfly wall. Needs to make sure on the tramp. Straight over here, bounced over the butterfly wall. Oh. Yeah! His backside just skidded across that mat. Now the bridge of blades. Oh, oh he's a beauty. Yes. He is a beauty. I like this guy, Matt Laycock. I haven't got a favourite tonight. You may just fall into that category. And he's onto the bar hop, nearly 10 seconds faster than Zed Colback. You know, one thing I'm worried about here, he's got a nasty little hairband at the back. If that comes off and goes in the water, out. No, oh, let's hope that doesn't happen, Freddie, because Matt, he's on the charge here. This is remarkable from a first-time ninja. He's a surprise packet, this bloke. Isn't he what? If he can just hold on to this next one, he has a shot. At making yeah. the semis, he's done it. We I think he's just booked a spot in the semis. We love a surprise packet here on Australian Ninja Warrior. And Matt Laycock, you are certainly one of those. Could we be seeing a new ninja going to the power tower? We know all about Matt's spirit and the amazing things he's done. Can he dig deep and reach the summit of this course? He's on the flying shelves. Matt Laycock onto the first of the flying shelves. Swinging around onto the second. Oh, he just didn't go far enough. What a shame for Matt Laycock. But that was a really impressive debut for the 22-year-old. You've got to be perfect on the flying shelves. Matt didn't drive the hips up enough in the lache. He just misjudged the height difference, I think, on the second shelf and just couldn't get anywhere near it.